Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to share with you what I like to call my spaghetti squash lasagna bowls. They are incredibly delicious. If you have made a New Year resolution or a New Year goal, that I like to say it, I don't like to say resolution, I like to say goals, about you know getting better, about eating healthier, maybe um, adding different things into your diet that you're not used to. I know a lot of people think pasta is the enemy. I'm not one of those people, but I do know that it should be kept under control and eating, you know, it's all, it's all about balance. But from when those times come where you are just craving cheesy pastas, a big ciri, a lasagna, and you're really feeling good, you're, you know, you're maybe going on vacation or something, and you don't want to give in to temptation about eating a big bowl of baked ciri, these are the answer. They're incredibly easy, they're so delicious absolutely satisfying on every level and I'm going to share them with you today. I've actually shared them with you um, in a picture or something on social media a long time ago and I had a lot of people ask for the recipe. This is like two years ago so you know I've been making these for a while. To get started you actually won't need very much. What I've got here are some crushed tomatoes and this just has a little bit of basil in them. I've got some ground turkey. You can also use ground turkey breast but I've got ground turkey. I've got some part skim ricotta cheese. I've got some mozzarella that's been thinly sliced. I also have my Italian seasoning blend. I also have some parmigiano reggiano. You're going to need some spaghetti squash which I'll talk about in just a minute along with some salt and pepper, garlic, basil and a little olive oil and that's really it. Now what I want to talk to you about is spaghetti squash. Now today I'm making enough for Joe and I to have for dinner so I've got one spaghetti squash that's one pound. You want to make sure that you keep that in mind when you're purchasing a spaghetti squash because it's quite big. So if you're only serving two people um, it's usually you pay by price so if you buy a five or six pound it's going to be really a lot a lot more costly than you think of when you only when you need it for five people for two people you don't need five pounds of it so I like to buy these little tiny ones this is a, this is one pound and all I've done is I've stabbed it with a knife twice and then I popped it into the microwave when it was still you know whole popped it into the microwave for five minutes exactly I let it cool for about 20 minutes I sliced it in half took out the seeds and that's it. I've also made a little slit underneath each half just to keep this stable when it's in the oven. That's all I've done. It's been in the microwave for five minutes, let it cool, slice it, take out the seeds, it's good to go. Now let's get working on the sauce. What I have in my skillet is a little bit of olive oil. To my olive oil I am going to add my garlic, some of my basil, and well, let's add all the basil. I really like basil and I really love getting it into the olive oil so that it really infuses, you know, all that flavor of the basil really infuses the olive oil. And I'm just going to let this saute for, I would say, maybe a minute. To this, I'm going to add my ground turkey. Now, you actually don't have to add the turkey if you don't want to. You can keep this vegetarian 100%, of course, but I love meat in my lasagna most of the time and when I'm craving a classic meat and cheese lasagna or a classic big CD, it's always got some kind of ground beef or it's got some sausage or it's got some mini meatballs. So I like to add a little bit of ground turkey, it's nice and lean, still has lots of really good flavor. You could use ground turkey breast if you want to which is even leaner, but for me ground turkey does the job. I'm just breaking this up as much as I can with my wooden spoon and I'm just going to let this cook till it's pretty much fully cooked through. I would say about 90% cooked through. Adding my crushed tomatoes and along with my crushed tomatoes I'm going to add a pinch of my homemade Italian seasoning blend which if you own my Laura in the Kitchen cookbook then you know my recipe. You can use any Italian seasoning you like but mine is my favorite. Add a nice little pinch of that along with some salt and pepper. And then you just let the simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now you also at this point want to preheat your oven to 425 so that you have everything ready for when you need it. So let that just slowly simmer for about 15, 20 minutes or so and uh, we'll be that much closer to dinner time. Sauce is done. It was simmering for about 20 minutes. Now let me show you what I've done here. I've just taken it. I've just taken a fork and just shredded the spaghetti squash. You don't want to shred all of it because I find that if you do that and you leave absolutely no um, no spaghetti ish squash in there, the shell will sort of fall apart as it bakes. So do leave some in there just to keep it whole. And I've added it to a bowl simply because I'm not going to be using all the sauce. And I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste it because I know it's going to be too much sauce for the amount of spaghetti squash that I have. But it's going to be 
perfect for leftovers, which, let's face it, it is one of my very favorite things about home cooking is leftovers. And then you just mix everything together. I've also seasoned the spaghetti squash with just a little tiny bit of salt because it can be quite sweet. Let's add just a little more sauce to it. There go. Stir, stir, stir to combine. You can make it as saucy or as not saucy as you'd like. And then all you do, we'll make some room so that you can see. Then all you do is fill your squash back up with the filling, like so. Then I just like to put some dollops of ricotta all over the top because, you know, no big ziti or a lasagna for me is complete with that some cheese. So just do little dollops on each one like so. And it looks like it's so filling and it is. It's a lot of food per person and it's just comforting and wonderful. And I really just, I love it. I've loved spaghetti squash for a very long time. Okay. And then a grating of parm, because everything's better with a little palm. Also gives you lovely saltiness. And then of course, some mozzarella. You can shred it or you can do what I'm doing and just lay it over top like so. And this needs to go into my oven that I have preheated, I would say for about 20 minutes or so. So keep an eye on it. You want this to be lovely and cheesy and gooey and ooey and wonderful. Okay, in she goes. These babies were in the oven for 20 minutes and they smell amazing. You should let this cool quite a bit, but my patience is just running really thin right now. Look at the cheese, ooh, the ricotta, a little bit of everything, but you're gonna have to give me a second because this is steaming. It needs to cool for like a minute. That makes me happy. It has all the flavors that I love. I'm gonna go back in for seconds because this is mine. Got my cheese. It has all the flavors that I love. Absolutely no guilt, even though, like I always say, food in general should never be something you feel guilty about. But this meets all those things when you are looking for a big bowl of something comforting and cheesy and carby and all that good stuff. This is amazing. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. I hope you remake it. And if you do, don't forget to share pictures on social media. Hope you enjoy spending time with me. Joe and I are going to go have dinner. And I'll see you next time.